let's take a look at May Mobility shuttles handling a number of interesting maneuvers. Let's start in the parking lot. Here we have a number of cars, one on our right, one on our left. We're maneuvering around them, and on the left, we see a pedestrian. We recognize that it's a pedestrian, and we squeeze to the right to create a little extra room. Now we're approaching an intersection. On the left, we have some construction, and on the right, we have a vehicle approaching. And we have the right-of-way here, and our vehicle understands that. So using the LIDARs and cameras, we track the vehicles around us, and we find a safe path through the intersection. Now we approach a bicyclist from behind. The bicycle is driving right down the middle of the lane, which means that there's not enough room for us to safely pass on the left. Our vehicle can predict many possible trajectories for this bicycle. We're not quite sure what they're going to do. But when the bicycle moves off to the side of the road, we can then pass safely. Now we're approaching a stopped car. The problem is that this car is in the middle of our lane and we have to make a choice. Are we going to wait for that car or should we pass it? Our vehicle is considering a number of possible trajectories, including staying in our lane or going around it but it can't go into the oncoming traffic lane without approval from a remote teleoperator. So the teleoperator gets a request, can see what the vehicle is proposing to do, and authorizes the vehicle to continue. We're now going to make an unprotected right turn, but there's a problem. There's a vehicle to our left with a large trailer that blocks our field of view. Our vehicle needs to know whether it's safe to proceed or not because there could be a vehicle coming at any moment. In fact, there was. Our vehicle creeps forward a little bit, which improves its field of view behind it, and then can proceed safely through the intersection. Now we're approaching an intersection. We have the right of way, but we see a car to our left, and we anticipate that it might pull out in front of us, and it does. Because we were able to anticipate this, our vehicle slowed down a little bit, creating a more comfortable ride. Then we immediately find ourselves behind a truck. We did not anticipate that there would be construction going on in this intersection, but our vehicle is able to identify a sequence of actions that get us around that truck. This allows us to handle a wide variety of situations autonomously. As our ride comes to an end, we see an oncoming car. And once again, we have to squeeze a little bit to our right to make for a comfortable ride. This is a really good example. It's very hard to anticipate every scenario that an autonomous vehicle might find itself in. It's far better to give a vehicle an imagination that allows it to handle new situations the first time.